Okay, let's talk about a distinction between arguments and non-arguments. The section 1.5 in the book covers chapter 1, section 5 covers this topic. And the objective in trying to make this, distingu- this distinction is to be able to give you a certain skill. You know, How is an argument distinguished from a non-argument? The idea is you read a lot of things, you hear a lot of things, not everything everybody tells you is an argument. You pick up the front page of a newspaper. Unfortunately, some of them are filled with opinions, so there is an argument for an opinion or sort of an argument. But what you're supposed to see on the front page of the newspaper is a reporting of facts. You're reading a history book. You're supposed to get a reporting of facts, not an argument. You read a science text. You're supposed to be getting some facts. Now, sometimes things are written to pers- to convince people of things, to persuade people of people and th- of things, and then you do have an argument. But arguments look like a couple of different things that aren't quite arguments, and we're going to turn to taking a look at that right now. We went over a little bit of this last time in class. That is the steps of argument analysis but we're going to make it really fill out the whole picture. That is, we were talking about, first we're going to, we said to analyze arguments, we're going to reconstruct arguments, then we're going to evaluate it, and we've spent some time on reconstructing arguments. Figuring out what the premises are, what the conclusions are, techniques for doing that. So we, we have a good idea how to do that. But first we have to determine if our technique of argument analysis should even apply because not everything that we hear we see and even we tell other people are arguments so we want to be able to first look at the 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 claims that we're dealing with and see is it an is it an argument or is it not an argument so if we're looking at the structure first thing we do is decide is it an argument or not if it's not an argument Well, we take our logic hat off and we walk away. If it is, we start to figure out to analyze this argument. And then the first thing we'll try to do is reconstruct it. And then when we have a good reconstruction, we'll evaluate the argument.